How much electricity do electric cars really use? Could they also send us into the dark ages? I'll explain today on TechSpain. So electric cars are finally going on sale to the mass markets. Ford, Nissan, Tesla and others are beginning to ramp up production on their electric vehicle lineups. GE is also jumping on board and introduced the Watt Station, which is a place to top off the charge in your electric car when away from home. But what about when you are at home? How much of an impact will electric cars have on the electric grid? Well, a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Plugging in these babies will have a similar effect as when air conditioning spread across the nation in a really widespread way around 60 years ago. For example, the Chevy Volt will be able to charge up using 120 volts at 12 amps in around 6 hours, or using a special 240 volt line at 16 amps in around 3 hours. What does all that mean? Well, regardless of how you charge it, the Chevy Volt will use around 13 kilowatt hours to top up, and that'll give you around 35 miles of range before the gas engines kick in. Now, how much will a charge cost you? It depends on where you live and when you're charging. For example, someone in Nevada who charges her car late at night might spend around 12 cents per kilowatt hour, so it'll cost her around $1.50 to top up the Volt. But someone who lives in New York City charging during the day might spend as much as 50 cents a kilowatt hour, meaning it'll cost around six bucks, for the same charge. So while they both get around 35 miles out of the charge, the costs can be very different. All right, enough with the math lesson, what's the point? Well, long story short, if we all start using electric cars, it'll be a buttload more electricity that we need than we're currently using. Just two electric cars charging at the same time is like adding a whole other house to the power system. Just imagine if everyone in the neighborhood bought electric cars at the same time. It'd be like adding a third more houses overnight. This has the power companies both scared and excited. They're scared because if not managed properly, the grid might crumble under the new strain and cause brown and blackouts. This wouldn't just hurt their reputation, but also make electric cars look like more of a problem than a solution. On the other hand, we spend hundreds of billions of dollars on gasoline every year. And with electric cars, the power companies get to take a bite out of that cash, something that they're very much looking forward to. So they want to make sure that they're ready. Will they be able to handle the demand? Only time will tell. But in the coming years, things are going to start changing very quickly. In a recent interview, Mike Rowan at Duke Energy says, It's like you're about to have a baby. You know it's going to be good, but you also know there's going to be some throw up and some dirty diapers, and you just hope that it's something you're prepared for. Well, Mike, I hate babies, so get your act together. I don't think your customers want to change your baby's diapers either. Anyway, there you have it. How much energy these cars use, what it'll cost, and how it might affect you even if you don't buy one. That about wraps it up for this episode of TechSpank. If you like the show, remember to subscribe on YouTube or become a fan of the show on Facebook so you never miss an episode. Until next time, I'm James Papadopoulos. Thanks for watching.